Hey guys, my name is JK Denim and thanks to the good people at Genius Kitchen, I get to show you how to make this Marilyn Monroe doll cake. Isn't she stunning? Wow. Let's get started. Do you like this shirt? I thought I looked really nice and then I went out and my cousin was like, did you get in a fight with the bleach? And I was like, no, I didn't. I really like this. You're not gonna bring me down. I like this shirt. And to create this cake, the first thing I did was bake two vanilla box cakes. Now you don't have to use box cakes. You can use original recipes and I'll link a vanilla cake recipe down below as well. I'm using my doll cake pan. This is a perfect size if you're making a doll cake. I make a ton of doll cakes. You guys, you can already see. I've made so many on this channel already. I cut my cake into three equal layers with a serrated knife. And in between each layer of cake, I'm adding some buttercream frosting. It's just one part butter and two parts powdered sugar. I'm just spreading it out with my offset spatula and then adding on my next layer of cake. And I'm just gonna repeat this process until I have on my top layer of cake. After that, I gave this cake its first coat of buttercream. This kind of locks in all the crumbs, but it doesn't actually matter because there's gonna be a layer of fondant on top of this. I placed this cake into the fridge for about 30 minutes just so that the buttercream in between each layer could set up. And I took it out and gave it another layer of buttercream. This is my fix it layer. I just put it on so that all the buttercream underneath the fondant is smooth. And once I finished that, I started to add some fondant pieces. I rolled out some very long strips of white fondant and using my fingers, I just created some ruffles to go at the bottom of my cake. I just bunched them together to create some folds. And then I just pushed down the back of each of the folds with my fingers and a fondant roller and then cut away the excess I'm just going to apply this to the bottom of my cake and just push it up against all of the buttercream. My cake had just come out of the fridge so the buttercream was hard so I was very aggressive when I was pushing the fondant ruffles up on this cake. And I cut away at the top of my cake just so I could fit my doll's hips in the middle. And then I took my Marilyn Monroe looking Barbie doll and plunged her into the middle of the cake. Now this cake doesn't go all the way up to my doll's waist. So I wrapped her with some white fondant just so that I could blend her waist into the rest of the cake. Now the Barbie doll that I'm using is like very classic looking. It's got that really orange Barbie glow. It's got a super singed waist. Even the way it's like posed is like, the new Barbie dolls are posed like this. The older ones are posed like this. <laughs> and it just, it just looks really classic. Because the Barbie looks so classic, I wanted this dress to be classic and simple as well. Now let's create this bomb looking dress. First thing I'm going to do is roll out some white fondant. And then using a pizza cutter, I'm gonna cut out some fabric sails. They look like the sails of a boat. I usually do this freehand because I do so many doll cakes that I just like, could do this with my eyes closed. But because I know a lot of you don't, I created a template for you so that it's easy for you to print this out and create this same pattern. And guess how much you have to pay for it? Zero dollars. No interest, you guys, zero down, zero monthly, zero annually. Congratulations. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> After I created this shape, I took some sculpting tools and I gave this a sort of ribbed texture. I wanted to mimic the type of fabric that Marilyn Monroe was wearing in the Seven Year Itch movie. After I gave my entire piece of fondant that rib texture, I placed it onto the side of my dress. I'm just gonna wrap the extra fondant around her waist. I'm gonna cut it away later though. And using the same sculpting tools, I'm just enhancing some of the rib texture I already created so that this dress doesn't look completely flat. I'm just going to repeat this process over and work my way all the way around the cake. And if, you, and if you notice, I'm not applying these straight up and down. I'm applying them probably at like a 75 to a 90 degree angle so that the lines have a little bit of movement, not too much. Now, once I was happy with that, I cut away the excess fondant around her waist. And I actually didn't want to do this because it looks like this should be the top of the dress, right? It looks so perfect. But the subway sequence that Marilyn Monroe is wearing this dress in, she doesn't have that top, so I had to do away with it. I rolled out some white fondant, very thin. I created a very long pentagon shape that I'm gonna wrap around her waist. 
I wanted to give her the same sort of texture that the fabric on the rest of the dress has, so I'm using that same sculpting tool and adding some lines. So it kind of mimics the look of pulled fabric. I'm gonna adhere this to her waist with a little bit of water or vodka on the back, and just wrapping it all the way around. But to create the top of her sleeveless gown, I'm cutting out two very long triangles that I can start at her like bust and then wrap all the way around her neck. I'm gonna cut away the bottom of the triangle so that they'll fit around the top point of the pentagon shape. I gave them the exact same texture as I did the pentagon. And then I applied them to the bust, again with a little bit of water, vodka, just so that they would cling and hold together. Now fondant work is done, let's add some final touches. I wanted this dress to look a little bit more luxurious, so I'm adding some white gumballs to the bottom of the dress. And then I added some candy covered chocolate. Just place them at the bottom and then had them climbing up to the middle of the dress. Now I brushed on some vodka to the surface of the fondant. Then I just sprinkled on some white pearl sprinkles to finish this dress off. And then I dropped my curtain, and voila, my Marilyn Monroe doll cake was complete. I love the way this looks. I love the simplicity of the dress style and the classic doll. It makes it look like something that would actually be created in like the 50s or around the time of the movie and Marilyn Monroe. So I'm very proud, you guys. And I'm curious, have you guys seen the seven year itch? Cause it was, it's a very long time ago, sort of a movie. And if you haven't already, go check out Ed Sheeran's cover of Candle in the Wind. It is so good. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Genius Kitchen and hit the notification bell so that you can see all of the videos they post, including the ones that I create. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.